What is up guys? I uh, got another Jeep update for you. You're gonna love this one. So yes, I did shave. You can see my double chin a little bit better now. Anyways, today we got the, not today, but uh, this weekend we got the the shocks fixed. So the, the steering shock, as you guys remember in my previous video, it came off, bolt completely fell off. They took care of it pretty quickly. I wasn't happy with it either way. I told them that's not something that should be happening on a car with less than a thousand miles, right? Uh, and especially with little to uh, no off-road. I drove on a dirt uh, gravel road. That was about it, but it shouldn't be falling off because of that. Anyways, today we got a new issue at 1,181 miles. The camera is not working, the reverse camera. So I'll show you guys in a second. So I wanna show you, see if it actually works. And you can see camera is completely dead. Reverse camera, it is in reverse. It is in reverse and you can see 1,088 miles. Sorry, the air is probably blowing really hard in here. So I'm going to go check the connection. Full disclosure, I haven't looked in the back, so maybe that's it. All right, guys, it is the next day and I wanted to give you an update on the rear camera, which, as you guys know, stopped working for no reason. I went on the forums, did a lot of research on what could have caused that. And as, uh, as no surprise to me anyways, I found a thread with probably 13 pages on Jeep forums talking about the same exact issue about a year ago with some posts as recent as just a few days ago. So a couple of solutions. The first one is to just wait a couple hours. Some people waited a day and it started working the next day. Another one was to unplug the battery so that the Uconnect system could do a full reset and restart and that fixed the problem. For some people, just restarting the car fixed the problem, and for a very small few that I read on the thread, again, I'm just referencing one thread, could be very different for everybody. They just took it into the dealer, let them sort it out, but pretty much from what I read, the response from the dealership was, we don't know what to do. Now, this was about a year ago, right? So they could start replacing cameras, modules, even the head unit, which is pretty wild. So I didn't see a, a fix for this. If you know one, please comment below and let us know where, what the actual solution is. For me, for our Jeep, all I had to do was wait till the next day and it started working. I did try restarting the car, restarting the Uconnect system. I didn't unplug the battery, but just waiting till the next day, it started working again. So that whole day from the first part of this video, it didn't work. So I'll show you real quick that it is working now. Okay, so here I'm just going to controls real quick on the Uconnect system, and I'm gonna hit backup camera because we're driving right now, so I can't really put it in reverse, but I can confirm that the camera is working again. So I'm pretty happy that things are back to normal. However, that's the second problem with this car already. And it's just not a lot of fun to have a brand new car with just over a thousand miles have a few issues already. But anyhow, other than that, the car's been great. I don't love the auto start stop feature. I don't think anybody does. I've read from a lot of people that it's just not a uh, great feature. So we just disable it whenever we're driving, but it does reset every time you restart the car, which is super annoying. So not a feature we love, but the, the e-torque four cylinder turbo engine, for those wondering, it's a great engine. It's got a lot of power, pulls very hard. The only concerns are on the low end, it's a little, you know, just like a small four cylinder would be. It's gotta build up some power. So I think from many experts, if you're going off-road, especially heavy stuff where you're climbing things and need that low end grunt speed, probably the Pentastar V6 is gonna be the, the way to go. For the type of driving that we're doing, for the trails that we're gonna be doing in this thing, I think the four cylinder works perfect. Plenty of power. We've already tested it on a couple of small, just gravel roads, nothing crazy at all. Uh, anybody can do those, but they were a lot of fun. Of course, in a Jeep, I think it's a lot more fun when you put the top down and can do it. So anyhow, that's my update. Just wanted to let you know that the camera is working. We're good to go. And hopefully no more issues with that, but I'll keep you guys posted. Now we're just waiting on some parts to come in. We've got some headlights coming in, some fog lights, and a couple other things we wanna do. We're researching on the lift, what we wanna do for the lift and the wheels. Anyways, subscribe if you wanna see the, the process or progress with the Jeep and comment like below and now we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.